Hello ladies and gentlemen and welcome back to the Machines of War. This time, the Hindenburg. Construction on the Hindenburg began in 1869. The Hindenburg made its maiden test flight uh, from the Zeppelin dockyard at Friedrichshaven on the 6th of September 1869 with a crew of 69. Some of the first passengers were Karl von Schlesenberg, Hans von Gart and Raoul Pahl and Wilhelm II or the King of Prussia. In 1896, it promo promoted the Olympics in Athens, Greece. After promoting the Olympics, it moved to its home base in London, England after its arrival in and started, started. So it scrambled its station and left for Berlin to support the war effort. After arriving in Berlin, the Germans armed with 3,100 mm tiny machine gun BSA and also 100 Maxim machine guns. And also with the 1,000-1,000-kilogram uh, bombs, during World War II, aliens invaded, so the Hindenburg needed some upgrades, so they added 10 laser cannons. MS-300. After World War II, the humans turned towards the alien front and joined forces to make Earth great again. Donald Trump. <laughs> and install a warp drive on the Hindenburg, after being armed with weapons that could fight aliens. The Hindenburg embarked on a dangerous adventure into space on the 8th of March 1969. Its hardest time ever was about to turn even worse. It was shot and the front was blown off. After facing against the alien armada, its crew barely got out of range of the alien armada when a transmission came in stating that Earth is under attack. While the Hindenburg was away from Earth, a second new airship was constructed. Ten times more manpower, ten times more guns and ten times better abilities. Uh, it was the new Hindenburg, but better. The Hindenburg was ordered to return to Earth. Together with the Dankwagen and the Hindenburg fought bravely against the alien invasion of Earth, but sadly the Hindenburg was heavily dis dis damaged and unable to continue the fight. Its engines were blown up, its cannons disabled, and it crashed into the surface of the Earth. However, the wreck was never found, and at this point nobody knows what happened to the Hindenburg. But beware, for it might return one day. Thank you for listening to this uh, highly accurate um, script. It was, well, it's not highly accurate. This is April Fool's, basically. And April Fool's about the Hindenburg because of it. One of our school fighters couldn't shut the fuck up about the Hindenburg. So I decided, fuck it, let's make it into a <laughs> April Fool's video, which we did. Uh, thanks to British History and Sparrow Ace for uh, player J F2 for... Backing us on Patreon, they, uh, if you want to back us on Patreon and help support the channel, you will you get cool stuff, tiers, early scripts, early videos, the ability to be in videos, and a lot of other things which are stated in the tiers on the Patreon, which is linked down below. We have a Twitter that we haven't been highly active on, unfortunately, I'm sorry about that, that's kind of my job. Um, and uh, we do plan on this, uh, we do plan on having a podcast every Saturday. So tune in next Saturday because you lost it this time because it's Sunday. Oh, even though, I'm, even though I'm recording this on a Sunday the week before. Hey. All right. Thanks for watching.